Hi, good afternoon, everyone. So I'm really glad to be here to share some of the experience uh, of developing technologies for e-commerce and also its impact. So first, to set the stage, uh, I will briefly introduce JD. And uh, JD is actually the largest uh, retailer in China, both online and offline. And also by revenue, we're the third largest uh, internet companies in the world. So because of this, that afford us a very unique view of technology and e-commerce and its, its challenges and also opportunities. So as e-commerce changed the face of the retail, it also made fundamental changes for the logistic system. And uh, that is why we are developing state-of-art technologies to, uh, to help not only e-commerce, but also the customer experience. So uh, one thing is also quite unique about JD is we provide the end-to-end -end logistic pipelines, including the last mile delivery. So start as far as 2010, JD already provided, start to provide what we call same day and the next day delivery. And that meant if a customer orders, uh, place an order by 11 o'clock in the morning, they will receive the product by the end of the day. And if they place the order by 11 at night, they will receive it next day. So this is now just drop in front of your first uh, doorstep. Actually, our uniformed employee will call the customers uh, beforehand and also hand over the product. And if you want to make it especially special, we also have a luxury white glove services. So as the order increases, and also the disposable income in China increases significantly, this poses a, a, a challenge and opportunity for the uh, e-commerce e like JD, and also other e-commerce in the world as well. And also for e-commerce, uh, uh, it has to be very flexible and scalable. To give you an example, last year in our uh, anniversary, anniversary sale promotion period, uh, JD sold more than 700 million items. So to put that in perspective in the US, that means every people in the United States will receive two items. So although this is a truly Christmas in June, it provides significant challenges for the logistic network. It not only will handle normal operations, but also like peak seasons like this, uh, network and including the warehouse operations has to be scaled up in significant portion in order to handle the influx of orders. So also in one of the talks, after one of the talks I gave in a different venue, uh, one, one audience was asking me, what will be the uh, future, uh, future the future customer will want. Although we don't know everything what the future customer want, but one thing we're sure is they want faster delivery and cheaper and also more customized service. So for that, we have to turn to, uh, we have to, turn to technologies and develop automated technologies to help not only warehouse, but the whole entire pipelines. So for Warehouse technologies, uh, JD has been developing, deploying, and also experiment with wide range of technologies. From dense 3D storage to robots can autonomously transfer, uh, autonomously transport goods from one place to another in the warehouse, and also autonomous forklift, in addition to uh, robot arms, will do automatic picking and sorting. So. In the next part, I will show a quick video of our fully automated and maybe the first, the world first uh, fully automated warehouse and, uh, and also the sorting center. So this is where uh, products are going to be ingested into warehouse. And the, and the products is uh, stored in a 3D dense storage system. And when customer place an order, the product will be retrieved and the robotic system will also get the right quantity of the product and automatically package the product, including put the cell slip into the, into the envelope of the packages to ship to, to customers. 
And also, since we are also managing the sorting part and the last mile delivery, all the products we are going to ship out also automatically sorted uh, in our sorting center and send to the truck delivery to the uh, delivery stations throughout the country. So the next part is the last mile delivery. As you all know, last mile delivery actually consists of uh, uh, part of a significant part of the cost of uh, logistic service. So in order to reduce the service, uh, in order to reduce the cost, JD is developing autonomous delivery systems that ground the delivery systems, uh, especially service the dense urban area. So we're using the uh, we're using the autonomous. Uh, Autonomous driving or uh, autonomous driving, driverless uh, technologies, and together for delivering uh, for delivering goods to customers, and start from uh, um, June last year, we already started a, a limited operational service, especially in campuses in universities. Uh, although in dense urban areas. Uh, customers right now enjoy the uh, unparalleled convenience uh, brought by e-commerce. Uh, in more rural areas, this is uh, still challenging. Uh, our network right now covers 99% of population in China, but there are still pockets that is not only challenged by terrain, also challenged by their economic uh, uh, conditions. So for that, we deployed a, a commercial drone delivery service, especially to terrain challenged areas. So this, already, this started in 2016, and right now it's in uh, daily service, especially in uh, uh, Shanxi province, Xi'an, and also uh, cities like uh, Suqian. And right now we are developing heavy uh, drones uh, can carry heavier loads and uh, longer distance between warehouses and uh, also our fulfillment centers. So I will show you a, a quick video about our delivery drone and also uh, last mile delivery service. So this shows our uh, drone operation center. And this is uh, one of our seven type of drones for last mile delivery. And here is uh, uh, different uh, generations of our delivery vehicles operating in campuses. So when, when it's reached the destination, uh, customers can either use, uh, uh, our system can use both uh, face recognition and also people type in the password in order to retrieve uh, products. So besides the last mile delivery and uh, uh, automated uh, logistic warehouse operations, we're also merging both online and offline services through a series of uh, brick and mortar stores. So that's include uh, one of them, a new type of store called Seven Flash, uh, Seven Fresh, and uh, this is uh, especially for fresh produce. And also in, in China, people enjoy uh, not only purchasing and also in the Seven Fresh store, they can experience the, where they purchase food being immediately be, be made into dishes they can enjoy right on the premises. So this is not only the new kind of uh, shops that combines online and offline experience, including automated shopping carts will follow you inside the store but also the experience of enjoy what the fresh produce you purchase and make into dishes right in the store. So it's a very exciting uh, opportunity and experience. So if you've been to Beijing area, I would uh, uh, encourage you to try the service. And also we have a new, uh, new line of unmanned stores. So that's not only have the uh, cashierless checkout experience, but also has the convenience of operating 24-7 with uh, 
uh, unmanned concept, including uh, the supply chains. So the next step uh, for JD is uh, what we call retail as a service and uh, logistic as a service. So we're not only providing all the technologies we developed for JD internal use, but also we are leveraging that and providing that to our partners or even companies which, although not our partners, but want to use those technology for their services. So thank you very much for your attention and uh, really a great opportunity to share. Thank you.